over there with the flag. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm a true born Jamaican, you know what I mean? Pro Jamaican, okay. so. Yeah. <laughs> Please. You know what I mean? Why are you in the States, though? Work. Well, I'm not in the States right now. I'm actually in Jamaica, you know? I actually ah. left the States from in February, uh -huh. a little uh -huh. before the, the pandemic, you know what I mean? Ah. <laughs> so I'm Back in Jamaica you. right now. Kingsley, from Kenya to Jamaica. Bless her. Bless yani her. Africa, Ego, you've left Africa. Yeah. <laughs> and you went all the way to Jamaica. Yeah, well, to the world, man. It a bit to be quit as the, the island boy. Yeah, mm? to the world. Yeah. <laughs> you done, Noah. Hey. Please do introduce yourself, Tamale, to our people. Okay, well, my name is Jeremy and James. You know, Tamale <laughs> has a legal name. So I use Tamale as a stage name also, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. Jeremy and Tamale, James, mm -hmm. real mm -hmm. name from birth, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. Tamale uh -huh. as an artist, you know what uh -huh. I mean? I'm from, a, I'm from the place called Southside, uh -huh. a place uh -huh. in Kingston, Central Kingston called Southside. Uh -huh. It's basically uh -huh. the heart of the slum, the heart of the garrison, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Ghetto. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's where I'm from. <laughs> You know what I mean? And I'm proud to say it. I'm uh -huh. from the slum. You know what tell I mean? me about tell it. Tell me about you making music. Tell me about what inspires you. Is Because they say, um, I want to say Rasta. Rasta makes very conscious music. They, they talk about things that are actually happening on the ground and things like that. And I imagine you have seen a couple of things that you may have expressed through music. Have you? Yes, man, a whole lot, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. what, what basically inspires Tamale is my surrounding, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, uh -huh. both the negative and the positive. So I just analyze from that and build on that, you know what I mean? And uh -huh. try to empower, empower other ghetto youths like me, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And inspire them, showing them that something good can arise from the ghetto. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Not just negative. You know what I mean? So... And another thing that inspires Tamale, uh -huh. as a youth, as a youth growing up at a tender age, uh, I used to have a neighbor uh -huh. who used to have a sound system named Mr. Neville, you know? Uh -huh. So uh -huh. that neighbor used, used to constantly bang in that sound system in my ears, actually every weekend. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's one of the major things that inspired Tamale to become an artist. Okay, so I should just look for my small, small neighbors and start playing loud music and inspire them also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, maybe you can be inspire someone. I, I, I really hope that we, we value you in Kenya. I don't know, it's something about artists from Jamaica. We love all of you. And I know you have some type of relationship with conscience. Maybe you could tell me about that. Uh, well, the relation that I am... Um, that I had with conscience. It's from school days. You know what I mean? Really? I was, was schoolmate. Used to go to the same high school, which is Excelsior yeah. High School. Mm -hmm. So it's from that time I knew conscience. So mm -hmm. um, after leaving high school, as two musicians who love the music from a tender age, mm -hmm. so after mm -hmm. leaving high school, we decided to pursue the career in the music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's when both of us link up back after leaving high school and started to do music. You know what I mean? Hey. Uh -huh. You guys yes. make magic. Have you ever been to Nairobi? No, never been to Nairobi. You know, and oh, so, you, so you just want to go to dream. Trinidad? That's part of my dream to you know come to Nairobi. Africa really? in general, you know what I mean? Yeah, just to experience the motherland and you know what I mean? Meet these beautiful people. You know what I mean? So it's part of my dream to come to Africa. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. If you had something from Jamaica to Nairobi or just Kenya in general, what would it be? What would that one thing that you'd carry from home, simply Jamaican? If there's one thing I would carry from home to Nairobi, uh -huh. uh, well... Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me, Aki. 
Well, I would like to bring the music, you know what I mean, which is the more important thing to me right now. So I like uh -huh. to bring my music at the, uh -huh. the people, them doorstep in Nairobi, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's a part of my dream. I would like to bring my music to Nairobi uh -huh. at, at you guys' doorstep, you know what I mean? So they don't really have to search search around uh -huh. everywhere to find Tamale music, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Very, very smart answer. Was a Nairobi, it will be my music, uh -huh. of course. You're, you're very feed. That was a very smart answer. Good job, <laughs> Tamali. You, your music has been growing exponentially. Like, I, I'm sure people all over the okay, I don't know how far your reach has gone to, but you have made it to be an international artist. How does that make you feel? Well, it's a very overwhelming feeling, you know what I mean. And, it actually um, opened my eyes uh -huh. and showed me what Tamale, how, um, how far Tamale music reach because uh -huh. I've got fans all over East Africa, Kenya, all over Germany, UK, uh -huh. you know, who reached you know, to Tamale and say, hey, I'm a big fan of Tamale from out of the slum days. And uh -huh. you know, that was from in 2010. That's that's mm -hmm. the time when Out of the Slum did release. You know what I mean? So I got fans all over the world reaching out to Tamal. They say, hey, I'm a big fan from that time, from 2010 until now. You know what I mean? So I really appreciate that support from the fans all over the world. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even I'm a Jamaican. I know it's a little small dot on the map. You know, so it's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. It's a real overwhelming feeling to know that Tamal is getting the support. You know what I mean? From people all over the world. You know, so mm -hmm. it's very amazing. Including us. We we love you, Tamale. Like for real. It's true. Yeah, that, you know what I mm -hmm. mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know the Africans I... got that special love for Jamaican music and all of that. So you know. Yeah, I actually I got the same Africa, love for Africans too, you know. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you're working on now. I'm sure you're doing something in studio. Okay, uh, yes, COVID-19 has said things, but you look like you're still making music. So is there something special you're working on right now? Yes, man. Well, we'll never stop making music, you know what I mean? No matter the crisis or no matter the circumstances, we just mm -hmm. continue working. Um, stay focused and don't try to be distracted by nothing at all whatsoever, you know what I mean? So Tamali mm -hmm. always making music right now. I have a new song called Born Star, you know, I mean, uh -huh. produced by Raya Records. And another one named, it's actually a collaboration with Vision Lineage and Taji, with a song uh -huh. called Glory, produced by uh -huh. No Landing Music from Connecticut in the States. You know what I mean? So there's a whole uh -huh. lot more. You know what I mean? A new song named Firm. You can look out uh -huh. for that video coming soon. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so Tamal keep working, you know what I mean? Never stop working. I, can. So I know that when you were younger, after your neighbor influenced you exponentially, <laughs> I know you went to perform in various platforms. Weren't you scared being so young, you know? And, and I'm a, I've switched to my native tongue. Ah, I was going to ask, you weren't shy, you weren't scared of the stage, you just went to perform? Like, why, how? Where'd you get the courage? Well, to tell you the truth, I mean, I actually grew up as a shy person, you know what I mean? But when it come Aww. on to my music, when it come on to my music and uh -huh. be in front of an audience to perform, mm -hmm. it's just a different, a total different side of Tamale, you know what I mean? So when it come on to that time, to perform mm -hmm. my music and showcase my talent, I never shy, you know what I mean? I never feel no type of way like, I'm scared mm -hmm. to perform, you know. No, it's like people build my courage, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, the more people in front of me, it's like they build my courage, you know what I mean? Wow. Mm -hmm. Perform to the best of my ability, you know what I mean? So I've only seen that's you the thing with Kamali. on videos, so I, I really hope I get the honor to see you perform live one time in my life. I really hope so. I like your energy very, very much. Yes, man. Sure, sure. You know what I mean? You know, Tamale, <laughs> so you... energy is really positive, you know? So I to keep it positive and collective, you know? 
So we are just going to give you some time because he's so amazing. He's going to perform for us a couple of songs, but we're going to give it a break and then have some more music from the DJ and then we'll come back to you. Is that okay, Tom Riley? Just give you some time to prepare and look all fresh and clean. Yes, man. I can't wait, man. It's a pleasure to perform for, you know, my Africans, you know I mean? Hey. So I'm here waiting to perform, you know, to show my ability. Okay, so 